Ocelot, Pheasant, Wolverine, Auk. Periwinkle, Ermine, Katie did, Hawk, Quail. Hippopotamus, Armadillo, Moth, Blow ye my trumpet in Zion, and awake all sleeping souls. Beneath this branch of purity do come and sit and sup with me. Labor is truly made worship. Rattlesnake, Lion, Woodpecker, Sloth, S. Come gather under my wings of peace. Salamander, Goldfinch, Angleworm, Dog, t -t 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 -t. Tiger, Flamingo, Scorpion, Frog, You. Mother Lucy's Table of Fruit Unicorn Ostrich Nautilus Mole Viper, Gorilla, Basilisk, Soul, Whoever makes a thing more bright he is an angel of all light. Whippoorwill. Beaver. Centipede. Fawn. Xanthos, Canary, Polywog, Swan,
Yellow Hammer, Eagle, Hyena, Lark, I am a dove of comfort and love. Zebra. Chameleon. Butterfly. Shark. Shaker children must have had a rollicking good time as they recited their way through this alphabet verse or absidarius, an incongruous word of anim world of animals created for the practical purpose of teaching reading. The rhyme and meter helped students to learn and turned a chore into a pleasurable activity. Shaker education was simple limited mostly to these practical skills that would help the children to become active members in the life of the community. Their school teachers were strict in matters of discipline, but the Shakers loved song, dance, and mime, and these pleasures were part of school life. The Shakers behaved soberly, but they were not dull, and the stern codes that regulated their communal life in matters of worship, dress, and eating, did not restrict the human spirit. That may help to explain why this animal alphabet is so whimsical and so appealing today, almost 100 years after its appearance in the Shaker Manifesto of 1882. At home and in school, Shaker children learned about barnyard animals, but with this delightful alphabet, they could also roam with the mythical Xanthos, the Ichneumon, and the Basilisk. Their education may have been simple, but evidently it was fun as well. The ideals of plainness, harmony, and utility govern all Shaker activities. Their belief in economic, racial, religious, and sexual equality attracted thousands of people to their communities from their founding in 1774 to their high point in 1850. Despite their early prosperity, the Shakers steadily declined. They tried to be self-sufficient, but unwise speculation in land and other bad investments forced them to trade with the outside world. In 1821, the death of their leader, Mother Lucy, left them without a spiritual guide, dividing and exposing their communities to public scrutiny and some violent reactions. Growth from within was impossible because the Shakers banned marriage and sexual relations and new members joined sporadically as fewer outsiders heard the direct call from God that the Shakers believed was conditional to membership. From 6,000 members in 1850, the sect declined to only 1,700 members in 1900. In 1957, the Shakers stopped admitting new members, thereby ending their organized search for the perfect society. I was born in 1957. I take this and I expose the errors and I say, let's rise up without the errors and teach the children the two ways, the way of singleness and the way of marriage. Selecting one of the two by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
The last male shaker died in 1960, and by 1976 there were only several elderly female members left. Today, people remain interested in the shakers, and a flourishing museum in Hancock, Massachusetts, preserves the furniture, the buildings, and the lifestyle of one of their communities. A visit there provides a rich insight into simple culture. When outsiders criticized the limited education of Shaker children, they must have overlooked this alphabet, for it continues to delight the imagination and curiosity of all children. Richard Mayer Barsom. Well, I am so delighted to share these things with you. So delighted. Thank you for listening.